Alright, so we're checking out the only game that allows people to trade in their priceless heirlooms so that they can fuel their drug addictions. It's Dealer's Life. Dealer's Life has won an award for being one of the very few games with 70s porn music in its menu screen. You don't believe me? Check this out. I wouldn't be surprised if I got demonetized on that alone. New game, damn it. Oh, character name. Uh, Marcellus Wallace. Does anyone in the comment section under the age of 21 know who Marcellus Wallace is? Do you know what he looks like? Let me know in the comments. Competence. Can I bring this down to, to below the green line? I'm just gonna be a lucky bastard and hope it- Oh, I can't put all the points in it. Uh, sure, the rest will go into charisma because it, I guess it allows you to sell counterfeit items. What's a pawn shop owner if not completely and utterly criminal? Let's go. Welcome everyone to the Daily News, where the White House is for rent. What does this mean? Drink this. Brand new beverage takes the lead in worldwide sales after declaring that it's got electrolytes. This is like 1989? Concerned elderly man says that it's dangerous to go alone and you should take this. Oh, this is the type of game this is. I don't even know if I want to click on this. They're taking the Hobbesize in car. Every once in a while, my wife ends up playing that 10 hour loop of this friggin song. That was an analyst for hire. I- what the hell? Is that his mouth or his mustache? I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a really squat diamond covering up someone's ass. George Weaver's looking for a job. Is being a restorer super dangerous? Because it looks like this guy got the crap kicked out of him. Whatever, you're hired, buddy. Welcome everyone to the friggin pawn shop where fantastically animated individuals come to purchase things from you. God, the artwork is top tier too. I don't know if these are piercing studs or his eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and say that they're his eyes. Good morning. They call me Craig and I'd love to sell you one of my old D&D books. Absolutely. Oh my God, it actually is a D&D book. Dominus and Draconians. Sure, let's deal. You don't want to tell me how much it's worth? One dollar, bitch. 640. 550. <laughs> Whatever I accept, I should've went for two dollars, Jesus! Apparently Randall Toombs is another pawn shop owner. I don't care. Good morning, they call me Steve Kitty. I'm sorry. Apparently they want the trophy that was developed by the developers. Sure, I don't need it. He's offering two thousand, suck it, five grand. I don't know, I was doing pretty good getting bot bottom dollar, getting top dollar out of the last guy. Twenty-seven hundred. Man, these people! What the hell? Is it this? This is how it happens, isn't it? You know how every time you see a pawn shop scene, some dude comes in with like his wife's wedding ring and it's worth like $4,000 and the, the pawn shop guy's like, I'll give you three bucks. And they're like, I'll do it. Ah, that moment when your face tattoo is coming outside the lines of your face. God, what am I selling in this store? 9,000 polyhedral dice. Sarah Zroft. <laughs> I don't know, try and up the quality of this. Go ahead. A man walks into a pawn shop with a parrot on his hat and an anarchy sign on his chest. His name's Barney Kuko. <laughs> what do you want, Barney? What could you possibly enjoy? A console game produced in 2016. Do they have consoles like this in 2016? I feel like this is a lie. You can have it for $100. I said $100. You go to hell. Oh, I can buy a new shop, sweet. Okay, so now I'm kind of curious. Is the parrot on the hat a fashion statement or does the hat come with the parrot? Oh, he's got a golden... Uh, is that a... Is that a geisha? I don't know what that is. Uh, I'll give you $400 for it. 580. Yes. Brainwasher for hire. What the hell? <laughs> it's the MIB Will Smith. <laughs> oh my God, this guy's $20,000. What the hell? Clerk for hire, two grand. I got that. Did you know? Oh, I can't wait for the for the tagline on this. Several years ago, people did not use to wash themselves. Just something I'd rather not think about, I guess. God, the tattoos in this town are off the friggin' chain. Oh god, I didn't mean to make that joke with this guy losing his dog. Dungeons and Dominus. Wow, this is a 1500 bucks because apparently Oh my god, not, you know what? 15,600, absolutely. How about 1300? Whatever. I tried to sell this damn game to the last guy for $100. Okay, whatever. You know, I just want it out of the store. 92 bucks it is. Wow. Cora Zoft or whatever it is sells for big money. Are those stains, by the way, or is that a shadow of something? It looks like someone urinated in the middle of my store. 1900 ho. Fantastic. Miracle. Panda at the local zoo just gave birth to a baby. No father showing up. <laughs> That's dirty. 
what are you when you have a lip, a lower lip and an upper lip piercing and a pink monocle? I don't even know where this, what sort of category this guy falls into. Take the book. I just want it out of my store. Oh, man. We're making stacks on the golden statuette of the lady that wants to cry herself to sleep. 1400. Okay. 1350. 1340. Well, George just finished with the dice and it's worth an extra 40 bucks. I'm firing you as quickly as possible. George, you had a you had a, a job for like six days. But you're fired. Ah! <laughs> oh god, the sound. Did we fire him or send him down a garbage disposal chute? What the hell? I'm gonna pick this guy up. I'm sure he'll be more useful. Jessica Trucker, I borrowed a little treasure. Anytime someone comes to the pawn shop and says I borrowed something. It's stolen. This is the most thrifty guy I've ever seen. He's got two soda can tabs as an earring. Is that a snowflake on his nostril? Is that a freaking snowflake? Are you wearing a snowflake on your nostril? 500 bucks for the drone. No, I'm serious. I want you to pay more than what you would pay in a store. Fantastic. Are they trying to sell me a picture of a toilet? It's, it's, it's not even a toilet. It's just a picture of a toilet. <laughs> okay, maybe it is a full toilet and they just couldn't bring it in. I just sold a microwave and it was a fake. What does that even mean? What the hell is a fake microwave? Who would make something that looks like a microwave but doesn't microwave anything? I guess neither of us knew the difference, so it doesn't matter. It's still blowing my mind though. Oh Jesus, I'm going to jail for the friggin' counterfeit. Your shop safety systems are not compliant with legal standards. Okay. Charisma, please don't. Okay, I'll leave you some time to fix it. Oh my god, I'm so glad I hired that one guy. Oh my god, this guy's selling a piece. Alright. I want to sell you this unique piece. It's a frigging skull. This guy's selling me a human skull. I'm pretty sure that no pawn shop would be buying this. But sure, why not? I'll give you 20 bucks for it. I said 20 bucks. And get the hell out of my store. I told you eventually would someone would be selling their wedding ring. Bam. Is this guy carrying in a thing of vomit? What the hell was that in his hand? That was not what's in his hand. That's a piggy bank. That was, uh, you guys saw that, right? Wow, I got this guy way up from 1160 to 1920. Jesus. How about two grand? Well, I managed to go bankrupt just about in the first 10 minutes of the game. That's good. Luckily, the bank cut me some slack and 1960 was good enough for this dude. So what the hell? Damn, from 370 to 830? Give me 940. 900. Oh, whatever. Parallel lines. Parallel lines have so much in common, it's a shame they will never meet. Ugh. That moment when you get someone to pay $670 for a toaster. Police are happy. If you're in extreme danger, you can call me and just scream police. It'll work. You'll see. Awesome. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, what the hell? James T. Newton's giving up his freaking glasses. Your mind was so busy wandering on a philosophical question that you didn't realize you tossed one of your items out the window. What the hell? Read this and find out nothing. Oh my God. I got clickbaited in a game. Good for you. It's a sandwich. That's what it is. The name of my shop is called Futility Emporium. I wasn't even the one that made this. The game did this to me. In order to see how ridiculous this game can get, I decided to hold the president for ransom. We now have $67 million. You're welcome. Oh damn, this shop has a friggin' security camera. Also, I finally want Will Smith on my team. A set of earrings worth $3,800. Not too shabby. Whole Mart for rent, $800,000. Yes, please. I fired my profiler. There's a better one here. Come on in, everyone. Look, everyone's coming in now, and they don't even have to worry about, like, getting shot or anything. $900. $920. I'm actually kind of curious if I can mess with the game and give myself, like, a nine bajillion charisma and then force everyone to buy stuff for inordinate amounts of- Oh my god! Was it just me, or did that ring have a purple glow around it? 27,000. Oh my god, this shop is 15 million dollars. Will Smith, you're fired. Don't worry though, you're only getting replaced by a slightly better Will Smith. Holy Jesus, we're buying like freaking co Oh my god, it's a mythic sports car. Okay, I have no idea what this will be worth. I get you tree fitty. $72,000. How about $69,000? Totally bought it. Or sold it, I guess. Oh my god, just bought a freaking motorcycle for real? What is that? Oh, he wants the earrings. $7,900. Let's go for $8,900. $8,500. God, everything that comes through the door is worth $1,000 now. This is what I'm talking about. Medieval decorated chest produced in 1210. Connected to the Assassin's Doctrine expansion. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, $280,000. 300 e Ooh, not that. 300 even. 
Yes. Sell on auction. What does this do? Oh, hell yes. Uh, let's sell something amazing. Eh, whatever. Let's sell a $300,000 box. Yep. Huh. That dude has legit golden pants. Want the old Rolex, huh? 1615. Nice. Ah, oh, it's an old shanker. All right, here we go. Epic, whatever, whatever the hell that, the ring or whatever it was. 11 grand, 10 grand, 9,300. Sweet. Electric skateboard for $6,700. Don't know what the hell skateboard's worth that much, but whatever. 6,000 it is. Okay, that's a freaking stack of cash. For the medieval ring, I will only accept 57,000. Apparently, I'm, I'll be accepting $57,000. I don't want your cheap ass tennis racket. Get this crap out of my store. This I will accept because it has a glowing aura. Okay, our charisma is now 231. Let's friggin' do this. Old surgical instruments. One dollar. Ten thousand dollars. Look, ten thousand dollars. Nice. One dollar. Okay, time to use time to use the special ability here. Uh, twenty grand. How about that? I'm charismatic as hell. Apparently, I'm not charismatic enough. Thirty grand. There we go. Three hundred twenty thousand dollars. Oh my god. Two hundred grand. Yes! Like the Declaration of Independence? An old decorated sword produced in 1734, signed by your grandfather. They're, they don't accept anything, but they accept almost anything. What kind of van like this costs 148? It just said that this was a medieval table produced in 2011. What? That doesn't make any sense. Just like this guy's friggin' unibra. 50 grand. I said 50 grand. Good. Oh, we got golden skulls happening now. Mm. Okay, crystal skulls. We're going even further now. A cannon? What did that say? What, what, wait a second. Did that just say signed by Adolf Hitler? Buy on auction. I sold on auction, but I don't think I've ever bought on any. A cannon worth... Oh, a legendary item. What the hell? Oh my god, everyone waits to the last friggin' second. <laughs> Stop bidding on this goddamn thing. Just let me win. Thank you. Is there a reason why they couldn't even put the rest of my first name in the bidding area? Yay. Alternative facts. Border wall inauguration between, oh my God, and whatever drew the largest audience ever, both in person and around the globe. I'm so happy about that. I'm also happy to see that you can get items in the game ranging from friggin' medieval cannons to swords signed by your gra your grandfather. I still don't know how exactly how this chronological instance occurred, but whatever. Anyway, our pawn shop stole $50 million from starving children. I don't know what to consider this, this, entire, this entire playthrough here. On a side note, for bad habits, it says parents concerned as a new drug called Charlie Cheen is now available and allegedly melts your face off. Oh, God. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dealer's Life. <laughs> Till the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.